Hello everyone and welcome to the School Technology Report for Tuesday, August 31st, 2010. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org and today we're continuing on with keyboarding in an elementary school. So yesterday we talked about what to do in a kindergarten class and today I'm going to show you what I do with my first grade students using a word processor and it's going to kind of blow you away. All right, let me just get into a word processor. It doesn't matter which word processor you're in, Word or Pages or uh, open office, any of those things. They just need to start learning how to use a word processor and since all word processors are basically the same, they will learn these skills that they can then transpose into whatever platform they seem to be working on. All right, so the first thing, um, they've gone through kindergarten, so now they can they can find all the letters on the keyboard by using typing tots, and that's what we talked about yesterday. Today, I, I usually start off, we open up Word, which is to them, by this time, they should really know how to navigate their computer to be able to open up files. So they open up to just a blank document like this, and then we'll do the simple A, B, C, uh, and we just go through the whole alphabet here just in lowercase letters. So they got that down. And then they learn the return key. So they press return and they drop down two lines and then they type in something new. And this now this next one is really hard for first graders to at first grasp. Um, thankfully with typing tots they learn to hit the keys fast because um, what you'll normally have with students is they'll hold down a key and then it'll start to do all those letters. And because they, they just they're so slow with holding down the keys. But now the shift key kind of throws them off because you do hold that key down and never let your students use the cap locks. I've had a lot of students that use cap locks, then get the A, and then press cap locks again. No, that doesn't work. So they got to learn to use shift. So they hold down shift and do a capital A and then a small A and then a capital B and a small B. And so they do the alphabet again in capitals and small. So now this gets them used to using the shift key. And we will do this um, every every week. You know, they come to my class only once a week. So we'll do this for a couple of weeks where they're really getting used to the shift key. And then after a, a probably three or four weeks of just doing the alphabet, we will start doing some simple sentences like, I like to eat cake with a period. So now they start to learn where the punctuations are on the keyboard and of course starting each um, sentence with a capital. Then we'll go into more advanced ones like uh, we'll put a comma in there like, uh, let's see a sentence here. I like to eat cake, cookies, and watermelon. So we can do a sentence like that. So now they're starting to use the comma. Probably by about Christmas time, they'll start to learn how to select items. So we'll talk about being able to select a word and to make it bold or to change the color of it or to make it italicized and bold or and then, and then of course how to turn those things off and usually it's by clicking on the different menu items and then we start to use shortcut keys probably in second or third grade but the great thing is by the time they finish first grade their keyboarding has still improved a lot because now they're able to hunt and peck out some uh, some sentences and also get all the punctuations all the capitalization and also change how things look on the screen, make things bigger, smaller, uh, red and black. And, and see, I'll do things like that. I'll go, uh, this is a tiny sentence. And then I'll say, this is a big sentence. And what they'll have to do is make, of course, these really tiny and really small uh, and really big. So they'll just make them really tiny and they all laugh when it gets that tiny because they're like, oh, it's so tiny, so tiny. And then of course you make this one big. And in the meanwhile, they're learning great word processing skills. And this is first grade, but think they use these type of things in every other application they use. So when they go into PowerPoint, they now can use it to make proper, you know, they can use the shift and the punctuation and how to make things bigger and smaller. All those things, these skills that they learn in a word processor, they use throughout their whole academic and professional careers and it's just so important that they get it just at a young age before we even start with touch typing because that is what we'll talk about the next time which is second grade and they actually start into using the home row and learning how to touch type. So uh, thank you once again this is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org and I want to thank today's sponsor of my school technology report which is Atomic Learning a company that I have used for years and is fantastic with coming on and being able to do professional development online and also give you just-in-time learning when you need to have an answer to a tech question with their little video tutorials it is absolutely fantastic so I want to thank Atomic Learning for sponsoring the School Technology Report and I'll see you tomorrow.